friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Miss Agmon Diva. For those of you all that are new, for those of you all that are returning, welcome back. Listen, um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All right. In my Libra reading, I kept mentioning Aquarius over and over. I'm like, what is going on? So some of you all can either be dealing with an Aquarius or there could be an Aquarius coming. Wait a minute. Why am I still saying? What is it with Aquarius? Okay. Some of you all could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, or you could have Libra placements very heavy in you all's chart. So I would suggest after you guys watch this video, if you have heavy placements, okay, or are you dealing with someone of that sign? I highly suggest that you guys check that video out. But in the meantime, we're going to get started over here. So um, I do personal readings. So if you guys are interested, I have all the information down below in the description box, as well as pinned in the comments. So um, yeah, we're going to stop all that talking and get to it. <laughs> so um, the first thing that we're going to do is start with your fortune. Okay, let's see what's coming towards you. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages. What needs to come through at this time? For the sign of Aquarius, please. What needs to come through for the sign of Aquarius? I've been meaning to get you guys a new candle because the one that I have is not. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, some of you all are definitely dealing with uh, a Libra. But yeah, I've been meaning to get you guys a new candle because I guess because I've done so many videos, that candle is burned out. So I use this, uh, this one that I use for general. So we'll go ahead and use this candle, no problem. But yeah, some of you all are definitely dealing with Libras because these two cards came out in the last reading, okay? Love and health, okay? But they did not get this card. This card here is challenges. I do feel like there's some challenges when it comes to uh, you all in regards to love, Okay. And it could be some challenges um, in regards to, to health, okay? It could also be in the healthcare field. So maybe you all are having some challenges at work, all right? I definitely believe that there is something going on with health. So um, guys, definitely be, you know, maybe some of you all are, your diet maybe has gotten out of control. Maybe you're taking in a lot of, um, maybe your cholesterol or something. I'm definitely getting that maybe somebody needs to pull back from maybe eating a lot of pork, eating a lot of starch or something, but challenges, okay? There could be some challenges in a relationship, in a love relationship, but all of this will make sense uh, in the end, okay? So I'm actually going to start with my tarot cards to see what kind of challenges you all are facing at this time. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages. What needs to come? What needs to come through for the sign of Aquarius? Yeah, some of you all are having some challenges. I feel like some of you all are in relationships with somebody that's very petty. All right, you could have something where you're fighting with your partner, or you're fighting with your partner and their family, or your family is fighting. All right, and there's also a, a sense that somebody ended a friendship. Okay, that could be something. There's a challenge in regards to a friendship. All right, and. I feel like you all are realizing at some point, okay, is the challenges here, all right, some of you all could be dealing with the Gemini, definitely an air sign energy, but I feel like some of you all could be having an issue with self-reliance, okay, Real, realizing that you have to rely on yourself. I think some of you all are starting to realize that, you know what, I'm going to have to rely on myself in life and in situations, okay, and I feel like this is something where maybe you're building your self-confidence, maybe you're learning to kind of step out on your own, maybe distancing yourself from certain people, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, there's some type of fighting going on, you're fighting with someone, I feel like some of you all are fighting, Fighting with friends. Uh, somebody wants to go. I can tell you that one thing. Somebody definitely wants to leave. Somebody wants to escape. I feel like you maybe you want to escape the situation. Maybe you want to escape the mundane. Some of you are tired of the same old, same old. You're like, I'm so tired of this bullshit. Some of you all are dealing with a Taurus you're tired of. Some of you all are tired of a Cancer. Some of you all are tired of a Scorpio. <laughs> Y'all just sick and tired of being sick and tired, okay? Yes, you are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Some of you all have a lack of faith, all right? I feel like there's a lack of faith in the, the fact that a relation challenges. That's it. You all, the challenge here is the fact that you all, some of you all are having a lack of faith. Maybe that things are going to turn around for you in regards to love. 
Maybe some of you all are dealing with a very toxic relationship. Maybe some of you have realized that uh, somebody may have put you in a third party situation. You could be the one that caused this. Uh, could have been you that was involved with somebody else. This is a general love reading. Don't get offended. All right. If it, if it doesn't match up completely with what you have going on. But yeah, that's what I'm getting. Somebody pissed. Somebody's pissed. I don't know. I feel like for some of you all, you feel as if you <sighs> got an issue with wanting things to be perfect all the time. Things are not going to always be perfect. All right. Some of you all are definitely going through a tower. This is what I feel like. I feel like some of you all, a relationship ended and it ended very quickly. All right. And it could have been with one of those signs that I mentioned earlier. I feel like the relationship ended. Because this person was distracted, okay? They could have been distracted with work or something. They could have been distracted with somebody else. Somebody made a mistake, all right? Somebody definitely made a mistake. And I feel like you're alienating yourself from this person. You got the three of swords here, all right? The three of swords here is in the reverse. So I feel like this person, maybe they made them a... Somebody, you found out that they were trifling. That's what it is. Somebody was being trifling. And through this situation here mm, yep somebody in the past okay somebody in the past tried you okay and now you have this four ones energy here all right and so now there's somebody new that's coming in all right i feel like you know that yeah you know that it won't be long before yeah this is what it is you found out somebody was cheating all right you got that four of coins there i'm sorry that five of coins there that speaks to there being like another lover maybe somebody was giving their affection a time or something to somebody else um so they they left you confused somebody left you confused in this situation and trying to come back and offer you very little all right just a little bit of communication and you basically are telling them to go to hell yeah, I feel like there's been a loss. There's definitely been a loss with that fallen tower, a loss of stability. Again, some of you all could have been dealing with a, you could have been dealing with a water sign, uh, in particularly a Scorpio. Yeah, a Scorpio that's very immature, a tit for tat type of person, somebody that is a big flirt that gives in to temptation very easily. It's the type of person you're dealing with. I feel like this person may have broken up the family. All right, some people could be contemplating divorce or filing for divorce, ended a relationship, and somebody got the hell on. I still feel like some of you all got the hell on. Some of you may have ran away from a Pisces or Cancer or a Scorpio. All right, somebody pissed you off. Mm. I feel like for some of you all, you either set back. You hid your emotions. You may not have told this person that you know what they were doing. You were just waiting to the right time so you can give them the middle finger and walk away. And I feel like this person didn't see it coming. I really do believe you shut down. Yeah. Got that, um, got that high priestess card there. Hidden emotions. I feel like you all head back, I mean, held back. Okay. It could have also been that this person was hiding their emotions. All right. Um, for you, or it could be that this person was hiding their emotions that they may have had for somebody else. But yeah, this definitely caused a lot of trouble, a lot of fighting, but I feel like, you know, that you're going to come out in, in the end of this with peace. All right. That's what it is that you're saying that you want, you want peace. Like, I want peace, all right? These these challenges, see? Once again, there's that challenges. Challenges in your love life. This may have taken a toll on your health, you know, dealing with this person, dealing with these troubles. Some of you could have had troubles on the work front, but um, things have definitely turned around for you guys. You got the ace of coins. All right, it could be that this person is trying to come back around. Oh, please, please let me give you my cup. Please let me give you my cup. And you're like, you don't get that little bit ass cup and going on somewhere with that damn page energy. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody had an abuse of power, okay? This is somebody that felt like they had you pegged. They had this situation in the bag that this person thought that they can do what they wanted to do. But um, one thing a lot of people fail to understand when it comes to an Aquarius is that an Aquarius loves deep, okay? I I always feel that Aquarius's love and passion for somebody is just as strong and as deep as uh, a person that, that somebody would see their energy in a Scorpio. And I truly feel like what people tend to underestimate is how quickly they can give you the deuces. 
by no matter how much they invested if they feel like they're not getting what they feel like they're they're you know what they're putting back out then they'll turn that that emotions into something else all right and i feel like you all went into this energy here the ace of coins i feel like you all started building all right i feel like you all started building you started working you started prospering okay you started attaining the things that you've been working hard towards once you left this relationship i feel like it was quick and it was sudden or maybe this person felt like it was sudden they felt like they were abandoned Okay, they feel like, oh man, wow, you're just going to end a relationship like that. Or somebody is in the energy of, you're going to end our friendship like that. We've been friends for so long. But you're like, yeah, we may have been friends for so long, but now nah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for your services. <laughs> I feel like you all like, hey, this is a temporary setback. All right. I don't know. <laughs> Some of you all are definitely sitting back like, Psh, I'm so over this. Yeah, because the, the thing is, is, there was a loss here at some point, but I feel like this, this situation falling apart, you weren't expecting it, but it needed to happen. I feel like something needed to fall apart. It could be a relationship. A relationship needed to fall apart in order for somebody to actually see the importance of it. See the importance of the other person. Yeah. I definitely feel like something falling apart is for the other person to see exactly what it is they truly had. I feel like somebody was searching for perfection. And there's no there's no such thing as that. Okay. There's somebody was searching for perfection, materialistic or something. It's, it, yeah. Confusion. Definitely left you completely confused, but somebody made a mistake. Somebody realized that this that they were incompatible. Yeah, somebody definitely realized they have gambled away, you know, a good thing. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages. What needs to come through? What needs to come through for the sign of Aquarius? What needs to come through at this sign for the sign of Aquarius, please? I'm going to go ahead and keep the ones that fell. And we'll start from there. All right, first card says, in love with the idea of love. This has been coming up a lot lately. Uh, some people could just be in, the, in love with the idea of being in love. Or they may, I feel like this speaks to the karma card in fortune where people are realizing that they're starting to release superficial relationships. I feel like that could be it. Yeah. Boom. You all realize that somebody is toxic as shit and that relationship needs to end. Okay. It says never going to change my toxic ways. Yep. Yeah. I was dealing with somebody that had you all in the third party energy. Maybe you all found out about it. Maybe you all were dealing with them for a while, but you realize you can no longer be entertaining somebody who's entertaining everybody else. But that person clearly is letting you, Ooh, cocky. Ooh, somebody's cocky. Okay. So they already said they were never going to change the toxic ways, right? Now this MF has the nerve to tell you, you'll be back. Yes. Remember now, for some of you all, this could be a cocky, could be a Libra, okay, for some of you. And it could also be a cocky water sign, okay, and particularly a Scorpio, because that did come up. All right, but not for everybody, okay? But somebody in this situation has the initial C. All right, could be you, could be your person. Mm, I feel like you all have reached your final decision, okay? That's why that Ten of Cups was in a reverse. I feel like at one point, you all saw this person as somebody you can marry, somebody that you can have a family with. Could have been somebody you were married to. Could have been somebody you had a family with. But I feel like you all woke up and realized just how trifling this person is, all right? And they're toxic and they're never going to change, all right? You may have given them a second chance because they begged you, you know, on down on bending knees, begging to be back with you, only to waste your time. Yeah, that is some nerve. Some of you all could be dealing with somebody whose initial is B. Could be you, could be your person. Got a card here that says a month from now. Okay, this could be when things look up for you. This could be when some of you all decide to drop that zero. And 
Yeah, some of y'all, you're definitely on a break at this time. You're sitting back. You're sitting back. Look at that. Let me go. I feel like you may have told this person this. Let me go. Or you know you need to let this person go because of their toxic ways. And you got any time, any place. All right. This is speaking on a sexual side. This is somebody where you all will do this anytime, any place. It was just that type of uh, energy between you all. Very sexual, you know, sexually charged energy. Uh, some of y'all could have the initial J. All right. Could be you, could be your person. Now we're going to get into these romance angels. Let's see if some new love is coming through. All righty. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages. What needs to come through for the sign of Aquarius, please? What needs to come through for the sign of Aquarius? Last one. Yeah, I feel like some of you all feel like you were stabbed in the back quite one too many times by this person. All right, one too many times. And that's why that let me go card here is, is here, okay? That is that is why you all are choosing to let go. You all are realizing that this person is a self-absorbed person, could possibly be a narcissist, but you all are healing from this heartbreak, okay? You all are definitely dealing with this situation, healing from it, learning from it, all right? You're getting freedom. Wow, look at this at the bottom. Freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. You can't make that up. Yeah, realizing they were toxic and walked away. You got the sword and the rose card here, okay? Yes, I do feel like this truth here in clarity, all right? The sword card is all about truth and clarity, finding something out. You all found out you were put in a third-party situation. You found out there was you and there was other people and that this person was lying to you back to back. I feel like this was something where they were like, no, baby, I didn't do nothing. Oh, no, baby, I didn't do anything. I'm I'm being completely faithful to you. Bullshit. This person was out here buck wild for the streets. But yeah, um, let's take a look and see. Woo! Oh, my God. Aquarius, release your freaking ex. They are no good. Walk away from that toxic relationship. I'm listen, listen. Somebody needs to see this clear and present danger. Never going to change my toxic ways, ever. All right, free yourself, okay? Free yourself. It says that it is time for you to take back control of your life, all right? It says, allow your heart to sing, uh, allow for your heart and your soul to sing with joy. You all got passion coming, okay? There's gonna be somebody, look, look at this man, baby. I know that you thought that you would never love again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I started laughing because as soon as I picked up this card and I said that right now, the Best Street Boys song is playing in my head right now. I don't know why the Best Street Boys keeps coming through on my readings, but listen, there's somebody that is coming towards you that will never break your heart. They'll never make you cry. They rather die than live without you. It sounds cheesy, but I'm telling you, somebody's coming towards you to heal that heart, baby. Speaking of healing, bow. Okay. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. I'm telling you, through this new person, there will be healing. This person is going to show you the passion, the love, the desire that you've been waiting on. It says that when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories that you share with those you love. Exactly. Don't take on the memories of no toxic ex that stabbed you in the back. All right. Don't take that toxic stuff with you. It says surrender. At times we must surrender to the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Exactly. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the card tried to fight back. All right, listen. So with the surrender card here, basically it is, it, it's the past. It happened. It is what it is. But by surrendering, by allowing 
to uh, by accepting that the old happened, you're allowing for the new to come in. Get your new person, okay? They want to hold you. Look at them. Let me hold you, baby. Let me hold you. Let that person hold you. And quit playing around with these toxic folks. Boy, those toxic people can make you think they're your soulmate and everything, but no cerebob. Whew, my goodness, no cerebob. All right, let's see. I'm actually, it was calling for me to pull from here. So I want to see what card needs to come through. What is so important that needs to come from here? All right, what is the most important message that the Aquarius need to know now? Okay, past, present, future. All right, what is something that needs to come through? Past, present, future. Most important message. Ooh, what did I tell you? Ooh. Okay, not only are you all going to have some um, new love when it comes to somebody coming in, this new love also focuses on work, okay? Uh, working for prospects for spiritual growth, okay? You see there, it says new love. Definitely somebody coming in and changes in, in work and stuff that's going to be for your greater good. You have focus on love. Look for the good in everyone, okay? Look for the good in everyone, all right, keep your heart open, keep it pure. Don't allow somebody to change who you are as a person. And it says, love makes the difference. Love helps to heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Exactly. I truly believe that this person that's coming in is going to help you heal once again. They're going to help you heal. Okay, let's see. We got the animal spirit guide, monology. And we also have Believe in Your Own Magic. I love to end my readings with these because they just give an extra, I don't know, just an extra oomph that you need. Oh, what I told you. My goodness, Aquarius, okay? What you need will surely come, okay? All that you need. To, well, let me not sing that. <laughs> yes, you know how YouTube is. But basically, that's from Savage Garden. Uh, what is that song? Um, um, truly madly deeply. That's a beautiful song. If you all um, have the time, listen to Savage Garden song, truly madly deeply. All right. So the first one says evil queen. You deserve sugar, not salt. Exactly. Get these toxic people out of your life. All right. These people, whether these are friends, relationships or whatever, there's toxic people around you that want to give you salt. Okay. Now, baby, you kill them with kindness. All right. A new romantic cycle begins. All right. Look, did I tell you all there's something to do with Libra? Either there's a Libra coming towards you or there is uh, some Libra very heavy in your chart. OK, somebody has moon and Libra. All right. Moon and the uh, shoot. I can't even talk. <laughs> this card is all about a new romantic cycle beginning. OK, no more toxic people. And the last card is the manatee, okay? The manatee, it says, accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. Exactly. Yes, listen, it is what it is. It happened. Now it's time to move on to greater good. If you guys enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I do personal reading, so I would love for you all to uh, reach out if you're interested in knowing your specific story, okay? Not just a general reading. Uh, again, I'm the Sad Moon Diva. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next read. Bye, Aquarius.